you can never have too much artificial intelligence. Thus, after the overwhelming success of ChatGPT, Google announced the launch of its own product. So today, we'll tell you what to expect from Google Bard, and most importantly, how it differs from ChatGPT. Interested? Let's go. We are Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. You're on our channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. So where did Google Bard come from and why are we hearing about it now? Actually, it's a good question because many people haven't even heard of AI development in Google's backrooms. But in reality, research has and is happening that will turn our world upside down. Take a look. Back in 2016, the company's new CEO, Sundar Pichai, made a sweeping proclamation. Google, whose name has become synonymous with search, would now be an AI-first company. A year later, the world saw Google Lens, a technology that allows you to recognize objects in a photo and perform various actions with them. In 2018, Google researchers introduced the BERT language model. At the time of publication, this technology had achieved state-of-the-art results in understanding natural language, but the model could not yet generate its own text. In 2021, Google introduced the Language Model for Dialogue Applications, or Lambda for short. At the time, the service could create human-like text, but it didn't earn the public's attention. And now, in the beautiful world of 2023, we see the birth of Google Bard. Combining all the achievements of the company for many years, this new service can seriously compete with and easily overcome ChatGPT and other AI services. And although it's in its development and pre-testing stages, it's already able to surprise you. But first things first, what can Google Bard do and why do you need to know? Let's start at the end. Believe us, the appearance of a new service will not pass you by and will significantly change how you use the internet search. The primary function of Google Bard is to supplement the so-called knowledge graph search cards. They exist even now. For example, when you search for information about a place or a person, the service gives you everything at once that it knows. So you don't have to click through dozens of links and you save time. Now, Google wants to improve these cards and teach the assistant to answer complex, ambiguous questions. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? But how do you make the assistant understand your complex query? Remember the Lambda technology at the beginning of the video. That's where it comes in handy. Thanks to the language model, Google Bard can decompose your sentences into components, understand what you want to hear, and give a detailed answer. And all of this will be in a separate chat right in front of your eyes. Huh, this wonderful world of the future. Of course, right now it's hard to guarantee the speech quality of Google Bard but the company has already shown an example of how it works. Want to see it? So on February 8th of this year, at an event in Paris, Google Senior Vice President Prabhakar Raghavan asked the chatbot for help choosing a car. In addition to the fundamental information about cars popular today, Google Bard answered many additional questions. For example, about the benefits of electric cars. So for now, BARD is used as another utility in the browser rather than an integrated search function. This means you can open your personal chat with the AI and ask a new question. But the cool thing is that everything you've asked before will stay in the AI's memory, and it will understand you better and better each time you ask. Now, we could go on and on about the more minor features of the new AI, but let's get to the main question. How is Google BARD different from ChatGPT. And that, in fact, is really the most exciting thing we know for sure right now. Unlike the notorious ChatGPT, the new Google tool is not limited to its database and knows everything on the internet. That is, it has access to all relevant information, whether the price of an electric car or a Berlin-Frankfurt train schedule. This feature should change the usual format of internet searches forever. 
One day, Google Bard will fully integrate into the Google Search service, and you'll notice it right away. Because now, instead of links or dry information from Wikipedia, there will be a detailed answer in plain English. If you want to delve a little bit deeper into the topic of AI, we recommend our other video about uncommon ways to use ChatGPT. Many of them will make your life easier and more fun. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.